In this video, we'll create the bottom container piece for activity 137 uh, using the dimensions in the drawing that you see right down here. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is go up to document settings, click the arrow, click the icon, and change the units to millimeters. Click OK. Then we'll go ahead and make a new sketch on the front view. And as you can see in the front of this piece right here, it has a total width of 55 and a total height of 32. So we'll start by making a rectangle at those dimensions. So it is 55 millimeters wide, 32 millimeters tall. And we'll finish the sketch and then we're going to extrude that by 41 millimeters, which is what you can see right down here. Click OK. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to shell out the top. So I'm going to click on the shell tool, click the top. And for the dimension for this, you can see right here on the top view, it says that this is two millimeters thick uh, unless otherwise specified. And you'll notice the back wall has a uh, dimension of three millimeters. So that means all along the sides and the front, it's two. And then on the back, it's three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and make this two. So it's two all the way around, click okay. And then this is gonna end up being the front. These are our sides here, this is the back. So we're gonna tell this back part to extrude out an additional millimeter, so it's at three. So we'll click extrude, click the back, and then type in one. So that is now at three millimeters. Okay, for the next part, we will uh, fillet these edges. If you notice, the edges here are rounded, and you can see that dimension right here is three millimeters. So we'll click the fillet tool. I'm going to click on that corner, this corner, and then I'm also going to turn this around here so we can get the inside corners as well. That corner. that corner. And again, that's going to be a three millimeter uh, fillet and click OK. All right, so those are rounded. Uh, let's add in the rectangle on the front, which you can see right here. So I'll uh, click the front, click sketch, and then I'm just going to roughly draw uh, where it is, something like that. And then we'll add in our dimensions. So we can see in our drawing here, it's 15 millimeters wide, three millimeters tall. We'll go to our dimension tool, type in 15. And then this is three. You can see that it's 19 and a half millimeters from the bottom edge. And then it is 20 millimeters from the left part of this rectangle to the left edge. And I'm gonna have to project this line right here as it's not letting me dimension to it. So I'm gonna go up to create, project include, click project, and then click, then click on this line here and click okay. Now I have that edge there that we can dimension it to. So I'll go up to the dimension tool Click that line now, click this left edge of the rectangle. And again, that's gonna be 20 millimeters. And then click OK and finish our sketch. Okay, now we're going to extrude this in. And the dimension for that is over here in the section view. It goes in a total of one and a half millimeters. I'm gonna change this to 1.5. Notice that's extruding it out. So I want that to cut, so I'm gonna make that a negative 1.5. Click okay. And there we go, that's cut now. Uh, the next part that we'll add is the holes on the bottom. So I'm gonna click on the top view up here in our view cube. And then I'm gonna switch this around. If you notice the back wall is over here on the right, but on my drawing here it is actually the other way around. So I'm gonna go up to the view cube and click on these arrows to flip this around so it matches our drawing. So it's like that. 
And then I'm going to click on create sketch and then click on this bottom part right here. Okay. And notice again, that kind of flipped my, my view around here. So I'm just going to go back up to the view cube and tell that to rotate back around. So it matches our drawing again. All right. So we're going to draw uh, one of these circles and then use the rectangular pattern to create the rest. So I'm going to go up here to the circle tool and just place this one roughly where it needs to go. And that circle has a dimension of two and a half millimeters. So I'm going to type in 2.5. And you will notice that it is 15 millimeters from the edge right here. So I'm going to go up to the dimension tool, click this edge and the circle and type in 15. And then from the bottom to that circle is 17 and a half. All right, so now that that one is dimensioned, we're gonna go ahead and make the rest using the rectangular pattern. So I'm gonna go up here to create rectangular pattern. And then for objects, uh, we're just gonna select our circle. And then notice we get some arrows once we do that. So I'm gonna drag the arrow to the left a little bit and we can tell that it has a total distance there of 10. So you could honestly just drag this, make that say 10. That's going to stay three, which is exactly what we want. So I'm not going to change that. And then going up the other way, notice we have five circles going vertically and they are at 20 millimeter spacing. So I'm going to just drag this up until it says negative 20. And then I'm just going to increase the quantity here to say five. And that we're going to click OK. And that made the rest of our circles for us. So then I'll click Finish Sketch. And then all we got to do is just extrude the rest of these. So we're just going to extrude them to cut through the whole part. So we're just going to click on all the circles. And then I'm going to change the view here a little bit. And then we're just going to tell this to go down. Uh, two millimeters and that will go through the entire thing and then click OK. Just change our view here just to check to make sure. Yep, that went through the whole thing. Okay, the next part that we need to add are the circular part, which will be the, uh, the hinge piece. Um, so I'm going to make a sketch on this side right here to make uh, to position this circle. So I'm going to click on this side, click sketch. And then we're going to place, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. We're going to place a circle that is just off the edge. Make sure you don't make it directly above or directly to the side. Just make it off to the side over here kind of by itself. And uh, notice the uh, dimension right here says it's R, meaning radius 2.5. But uh, Inventor, I'll go ahead and delete this one. Uh, Inventor, or Fusion 360 rather, uh, puts in diameter here. So we want to actually double that. So we want to make this five millimeters. Okay. And then notice it is half of a millimeter up from the top and half a millimeter from the right from the edge as well. So go up to our dimension tool and just dimension it half a millimeter in both of those directions. Okay, so that's positioned correctly. I'm gonna click Finish Sketch. Click that, and then we will extrude this across. If you notice, this has a, what's the dimension? This has a dimension, it is 10 millimeters long for this part. So I'm gonna click Extrude, click this part right here, and then we'll just drag it out to 10 millimeters. Click OK. All right, uh, the next part, uh, you can see that there is a little circular knob right here, which is where the top uh, piece or the cover is going to connect and it's gonna uh, kind of form a hinge. Uh, so we will uh, go ahead and add that next here. Actually, you know what? Let's put this cut out here first. So you'll notice that we have this re rectangular cutout piece. We'll put that on here next. So I'm going to click on the back piece and then click the create sketch button. 
And again, that is going to start right here. And it's going to go roughly to right there. Uh, and we'll just add some dimensions here to get this uh, positioned right. Um, so I know that this cutout, again, we're going to have another one of these circular pieces here that goes out 10 millimeters this way. So I'm going to dimension from here to here. This is going to be 10 millimeters. And then the distance that this goes down, you can see over here on the section view, it goes down two and a half millimeters. So I'm going to dimension from the top line to this bottom one, 2.5 millimeters. And then that is all we need for this. We're just going to click finish. And fix my view here a little bit. Okay, so now we just need to click extrude and we're going to cut this. And again, this just needs to go three millimeters in to go through the whole thing. Um, so I'm just going to drag that till it gets to three and click OK. All right, now we have a little bit more space to work with uh, to make this uh, knob piece right here. So I'm going to go up to Create Sketch, click this part right here, and then we are going to make a circle on there. And that circle, notice that uh, on our drawing it says it has a SR 1.5 or spherical radius. Again, it's using radius there, but remember that we, when we make a circle, we're drawing the diameter. So if it has a radius of 1.5, that means it has a diameter of 3. So we're going to make that 3 millimeters at the center of that. And that's all we need to do for this sketch. So we're going to click Finish. And then I'm going to fix the view here a little bit. Uh, we are going to extrude this out. I'm going to click extrude and then the circle and that's going to go out 1.5. And I'm going to click OK. And the last step to make this, we're going to use a fillet. I'm going to click this edge. And we're going to also type in 1.5 for that. And that will make it a half of a sphere. I'm just going to click OK on that. OK, so what we need to do now is just pretty much repeat that process that we did here over on the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to flip it around to this edge and we're going to make this uh, the cylinder as well. Create sketch. And I'm going to make this a little bit easier. I'm going to go up to the project include, click project. I'm going to click that circle right there. So it's going to automatically draw that or automatically take that uh, circle and place it on our sketch that we just made. I'll click OK. And then I'll click finish. And then we are just going to extrude this out the same way we did before. Again, it's going to go out to 10. Click OK. And again, I'm going to flip this around here. We're going to make a sketch on this face. And again, I'm going to kind of rotate this. I'm going to also use the project tool for this as well. So I'm going to click create, project, and this time I'm going to click, I'm going to try to zoom in here, click on that right there to get the diameter of that circle, and then click OK. And you'll notice that it automatically placed that on my sketch. Click finish. And again, we're going to repeat the same thing we just did. This is going to be extruded out 1.5. And then we are going to fill it at 1.5. Okay. And that is our bottom container piece for activity 137.